Eastside neighborhood is under siege by homeless people. Neighbors say abandoned buildings are havens for the homeless. So who's responsible for the problem? When you ask, we investigate. Contact 13 investigative reporter Stephanie Zeppelin is getting answers. They're watching the homes. We saw drug deals going down. This woman says she and other people in the neighborhood are scared, even inside their own homes, because of the homeless population constantly in the area. She's put in security measures, but wonders who's responsible for getting a more permanent solution. We have um, disbanded it a, a few times that I'm aware of myself. Um, I, I've been out there on many occasions. Once a week, I'm out there and I've talked to um, some of the homeless. Clark County Commissioner Marilyn Kirkpatrick oversees this district. She says they've been working to clean up the area, including securing these vacant buildings. But when we came out Thursday, there was a big gap in the fence. And what about the homeless people Metro cannot arrest? and the ones who don't want to be part of county services or go to a shelter. How do they get rid of those? Kirkpatrick says there's a new initiative coming in next year. It's a case management program, right? So what, many of them have mental illness, so we need to ensure that they can get the medications and they can get the proper follow-ups. But as for the buildings, we spent several hours trying to dig up information. We went on the county assessor website and discovered the property owner is an LLC. A local law firm told us sometimes property owners put their buildings under an LLC to help limit their liability. We scoured the internet and directories to find a phone number associated with the companies, but didn't find anything. So it will likely fall on the county to clean this place up. Stephanie Zeppelin, 13 Action News.